Hey y'all, Lace Skitzeru here, bringing you your quick skits fix to keep you in the mix. So during this month of what felt like non-stop events, Kickside brought to us Rebels the event that all of us pre-rebalance players, okay, probably just about all players in general, have been waiting for. The most wanted event of last year, and for some of us the last few years, the re-offering of the Rapture Cruiser and the Osprey Frigate, along with some other prizes including the Sawtooth Formation, which I've been wanting for a while to get myself back to having all the formations. So in this video, I'm going to show y'all some tactics I used during the special event, along with some of my base hits which got me the Rapture Cruiser and the Sawtooth Formation, along with the prizes I will unbox at the end of this video. In these first two fights, I hit a level 50 VSEC fleets on auto, using a Fusion with Focus Disintegrator Cannon XL Punisher Cruiser in slot 1, a Double Blast Blister Armored Thruster Zenth Manifold Covenant Cruiser in slot 2, an Unstable Thrustered Anti and Zenth Manifold Heretic Cruiser in slot 3, a Fusion Deflect Zenth Ion Ops Impulse MK4 Trident in slot 4, my All Spectre Meta Zenth Armored Thrust Dominion Carrier in slot 5, and my Strike Talonite XL Basic Cargo Blitz with Spectral Warheads Manifold and Cluster and MK3 Decimator Cutter in slot 6. The fleet ended up being a level 68, which I used in the Pentagon Formation. Due to the differences in the starting angles, my first fight which started from the right was only 34 and a half minute repair time before instance, but the second fight which started from the left was an hour and 4 minutes repair time before instance. Each level 50 V-Sect gave me 16,390 intel. For these next two fights, I used a slightly different fleet versus V-Sect 50s which my buddy Harpy Eagle really enjoyed. The fleet consisted of the same Punisher Cruiser in slot 1 and the same Dominion Carrier in slot 5, but instead has a Meta Python in slot 3 with Strike Pythons in slot 4 and 6. All three Pythons are also fitted with Unstable Thrusters, Skirmish Armor, and Nova Rays. In slot 2, there is another Punisher Cruiser which has a different fitting than the one in slot 1, but I plan to replace the Shield Armor and Gun so then it can match that first Punisher. The fleet ended up being a level 65 and I used the Pentagon Formation for this one too. By starting off from the bottom without doing any targeting, the fleet racked in almost 6 hours worth of repair time before instance, which was much higher than the first fleet. Trying again, this time entering from the left side and targeting the enemy carrier before the fight begins, I end up walking away with only 2.5 hours worth of repair time, which was much more along the lines overall of what I was expecting from fighting a level 50 VSEC during the event. After the fleet was repaired, I went and tried versus a level 53 VSEC. This resulted in much more repair time, especially because I lost both the Dominion Carrier and one of the Python Cutters, and came really close to losing a second Python as well. The level 53 gave me 27,190 intel, which was 10,800 more intel than the 50 gave. In my opinion, the extra intel was not worth the amount of additional repair time. Before going further about the fleet hitting, I'd like to take a moment to discuss base hits since this was a Vega Alert type of event. During this event, I took 28 base hits including this one and the one at the beginning of this video where I took only 1% damage versus the sniper fleet. Each base hit gave me 47,480 intel for an overall addition of 1,329,440 intel to my score. The 28 hits consisted of 15 sniper fleets, 7 mixed fleets, and 6 rush fleets. Well enough about base hits, let's get back to the fleets. Versus the 45, I used a variation of my traditional event 45 killer fleet. Using the Iron Blockade formation, I put 3 heretics in front of 2 tridents with a dominion in the back and was able to auto 45s with instant repair for 7200 intel. I tried using the fleet on a level 50, targeting the carrier once I was about to be in its range. This resulted in a 3 hour and 14 minute repair time. Mmm, pie. <laughs> Before getting into some piloting, I tried using my Dominion Carrier with 2 Zeals, 2 Vigilantes, and 1 Dread Battleship to fight a level 50 on auto using the Pentagon Formation. Once again, I targeted the enemy carrier once I was almost in its range. I ended up losing 1 Zeal and having 2 other battleships take decent amounts of damage. The fight gave me 2 hours and 17 minutes worth of repair time, but if I swapped out the 3 pretty damaged battleships with full health ones, the rest of the fleet was instant. For most of my piloted fights in between my waves of auto, I hit level 60 VSEC using my Spectre with Swarm Dominion Carrier and my highest DPS battleships, which are my 2 Hellfires, my 2 MK5 Dreads, and my MK5 Zeal in line formation. Due to the way the fight screen is set up, I prefer to start my fights from the side. 
Upon entering the battle, I try to handle my grouping before the fight actually begins. Due to the speed grouping glitch, I left clicked my fleet to turn around before I started doing my grouping. Instead of grouping the battleships together one by one at the start of the fight like I used to do, I figured out it's actually faster and easier for me to group the whole fleet into one group by holding control and pressing the number 2, and then I just removed the carrier from the group since we wouldn't want the battleships taking on the speed of the carrier. Once my ships are at a 90 degree angle, thus aiming for the V-Sect, I start to strafe my battleships away from the carrier. When my carrier starts firing, I turn my ships and switch back and forth between forward thrust and strafting while moving up and down in a zigzag formation. While trying to stay out of the enemy range, while also keeping the enemy in my range, I kill off the ships one by one in order of the speed, starting with the cutters and then the cruisers and the battleships. Once all that remains is the carrier, I turn my ships around and tell my carrier to target the enemy carrier. I then move my battleships to go under my carrier and straf them over towards the enemy. Due to the short range of the raider squadrons, I was able to straf away once the enemy was in my range without really taking any damage. In the long run, I ended up just commanding my battleships to fly away right after killing the other ships and let my carrier kill the enemy carrier without even getting close enough for the enemy to fire. As you might have noticed, sometimes I would lag, which is why I always hated piloting, but as long as it wouldn't mess me up too much, this technique usually lets me walk away with 45,000 intel and instant repair. Next up, I'll do the unboxing. I had enough points to get a few different boxes, so for the convenience of seeing what came from what box, I separately brought each box and opened them. First up is the V-Sect and Vega Patterns box. Out of the 30 boxes, I got 60 patterns. 9 were cutters, 10 were battleships, 15 for destroyers, 14 for cruisers, and 12 were for frigates. 16 of the 60 were MK5 and another 16 were MK4. Next up, I got the T3 and T4 core boxes. I only had enough for 13 of them. I opened the first one alone by mistake which gave me a frigate core T3. I then opened the remaining 12 which gave me 2 T4 cores and 10 T3 cores including another frigate T3 core. Lastly I had enough for 7 T3 rebel pattern boxes and to exchange for 2.2 million res with 800,000 antimatter. Those 7 boxes gave me 2 fury, 3 trident, 1 rev, and 1 nighthawk pattern. Well there you have it folks. Now you know how I did the most recent special event and what I gained from my boxes. I'm hoping these strategies will still work whenever the next special event rolls around and that the prize boxes will be the same if not better. Sorry I haven't been uploading so much recently which has been due to a lot going on in my offline life. If you enjoy my videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share if you haven't already. Also, if you would like to support my channel, you can do so by dropping a donation to my paypal.me link in the description down below. Any amount is appreciated and will help me continue to bring y'all more of my awesome videos. This was Lay Skitzeru reporting in with your quick skits fix to keep you in the mix. Hope to see you next time!